Hey Pirates, today I wanted to introduce you to an app I made powered by ChatGPT. Don't get too excited however, the app's still in the early stages of development, but I'm releasing the first version today to gauge what everyone thinks about it. So what's inside this app? It's a study app. It's that classic vocabulary in context question found in reading comprehension tests. Each question presents a sentence with a blank, offering five choices for you to pick the vocabulary that fits the context. But what sets it apart from other study apps is that the problems are crafted by ChatGPT, OpenAI's large language model. Not only that, it generates five multiple choice options per question accompanied by a GPT-generated explanation for the correct answer. The best part? A brand new set of questions every day. In today's demonstration, I've configured the system to provide you with a daily stash of 50 questions. However, in theory, the number of questions I can generate is unlimited. Why? Because it's not me creating these problems, it's ChatGPT. When you're finished with the initial set, just take a break, give yourself a pat on the back, and come back tomorrow. The app will have crafted a fresh set by then. Let me share the motivation behind creating this app and the specific problem I try to solve. My goal was to enhance accessibility to high quality academic practice problems for the wider public. While numerous free practice problems exist online, you've likely encountered the common scenario where you would eventually have to pay for more. Although I don't think it's unfair for institutions to charge for more, considering the resources time, labor, and overall effort invested in crafting each problem, still, can we do better? So, I pondered the possibility of lowering this cost barrier or eliminating it altogether. Is there a more cost-effective method to generate these problems without compromising quality? Can we attain our objectives in a shorter time frame? Is there a way to automate and streamline the entire process? ChatGPT. We understand that ChatGPT can generate problems, but the question remains, how reliable are they? Here's my take. When it comes to the quality of questions generated by ChatGPT, I must say, I'm genuinely impressed. Sure, I had to make a few tweaks and fine tune things to align with my preferences, but the end result is consistent enough to meet my expectations. Now, a word of caution, no AI, including ChatGPT, is perfect. In fact, it's explicitly mentioned on ChatGPT's website that ChatGPT can make mistakes. I've echoed this disclaimer on my website as well, just to be safe. Let's face it, no system is perfect and there might be occasional hiccups in the questions generated. However, were these flaws significant enough to abandon the project? No. Before you head out, let me highlight why you should give my AI-powered app a shot. One, you don't pay a dime for it. It's entirely free. Two, embrace a daily influx of fresh, untapped AI-generated questions, each accompanied by precise answers and explanations. Three, scalability. While my website currently showcases vocabulary type questions only, the ask potential extends far beyond. Think math tailored to difficulty or grade level, delve into science, explore history, or even immerse yourself in various languages such as French, Spanish, Chinese, or Korean. But it doesn't stop at academics. Consider sports rules or things like answering the 2024 Super Bowl winner. How about who's this Pokemon? Answering the correct Pokemon from the description. Having said that, your ideas matter. If you have a unique use case or a quiz suggestion, let me know in the comments below. I'll see if I can implement it. All right, I've covered the details of the recently launched AI-powered app on my website. Visit piratekingdom.com and click on AI. The app is also responsive, meaning it's mobile friendly. So what do you guys think? Do you believe AI has reached a level where it can contribute to personal growth? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button and subscribe. I'll consider creating some follow-up videos if people find it interesting. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.